right, today we are hunting for meteorites on a dry lake bed, Southern California. Um, it's a it's dry lake bed, still a little wet. There is some standing water. So normally in the summer, I can drive out to this spot I'm gonna go hunt, but uh, this guy, we gotta take a walk, which, whoa, what was that? That was a bullet. Anyways, we're out here looking for uh, what they call a carbonaceous condorite. It's a very rare meteorite. As far as I know, when I last looked it up, it's been a couple years ago, this particular CK4 has only been found one place on the Western Hemisphere. So that makes it pretty rare. Now, the pieces that I have found out here are crumbs. I mean, they are tiny. Um, and at first, I thought maybe they're just, you know, basalt, because they really look like basalt. They're a very fragile meteorite, I guess. And out here on this dry lake bed, they broke up pretty far. Their stream field goes way over there. Way over here. And they are little pieces. I mean tiny little pieces. But they got a they got really good pull on, on the on the magnet. Um, anyways. So that's what we're hunting. I'm gonna get over to a place me and my buddy dubbed the Boneyard. Um, I think because we found some bones there when we found some meteorites, something, I don't know. You know, you make names for stuff. Oh, wait a second. Nope. It's stuck though. A lot of these rocks out here have, uh, they stick, but they don't stick real good. And after you touch a couple thousand <laughs> of the black rocks that kind of look like the CK4s, you get a pretty good eye for it. Anyways, let's get over there. All right, I made it over to the spot that I want to start hunting. And what I do is I got this uh, oh, ski pole I got it at a thrift store for like a buck. Wrap some electrical tape around it. Glue it on a piece of metal to put a real strong magnet on the end of it. And uh, just walk around and look for little rocks. Like that one. And then just go and mm, very little stick. But I can tell from just the standing point, it's not what I'm after. So that's really all you have to do. And, and then you gotta learn to identify, obviously, but uh, there's ways of doing that too with the uh, ordinary condorites. I found not too many out here of the ordinary condorites. They're actually more rare than a really rare CK4, but I have found some OCs out here and uh, I got, had a couple of them classified, which was neat. But uh, yeah, so let's just get at it, see if we can't get a little crumb of this real rare meteorite. It's really nothing special looking, but sure is neat to find one. But yeah, just hunting out here, I, we found, oh man, 50, 60 little pieces over the time of coming out here and looking. So let's get at it. One thing I wanted to mention real quick, when I first started this, uh, uh, old buddy of mine named Ruben taught me one of the key things right off the bat, and I'm going to share it with you guys. It's real simple. See my shadow? Always have the sun at your back when you're hunting meteorites. So, you know, walk this way and you're looking out here for the rocks. If you do it this way, it, the sun's right in your, it doesn't, it doesn't illuminate the meteorite or any rocks very well. You'll be right on top of them before you see them. So keep that in mind if you want to give this a try. Always keep the sun at your back. Makes it a lot easier to see them. All right, I may have found a little one. I wanted to shoot it before I got it out of the dirt, just in case it is one. It, bear in mind, this thing is tiny. But, oops, sorry. Right there. Right there. Right there. Let me get my magnet off. 
and see if it is one or not. Yep, there we go. Got our first one. <laughs> Sweet. I thought it was one. One way I know is how it jumps so good. Look at the pull on that already. See that? Now it's a crumb, but nonetheless, it is a CK4 meteorite. Right there. I'm sorry, my camera is not, I say camera, my iPhone 7. But that's a little meteorite right there. That is so cool. Like I said, you can always tell by the way these say CK4s jump. I mean, they got really good magnetic pull. There we go. So when you're around touching rocks, like there's a rock over here. That don't look like one, but you know, you hit it with the magnet, see? Nothing. Sometimes a little teeny pull like that. But this guy, right up to it. So we are on the board. We got one little crumb. Now I know what you're saying. How the heck do you have any clue that that's a meteorite? Well, I found a lot of them. And you just you get the feel for them after a while. I also uh, met the guy, the original guy that found them out here. I believe his name was uh, Rob Matson. Matson? Something like that. Anyways, you could look him up. Um, I did meet him out here. I showed him my collection. He verified, yeah, because he's, he's the original finder, and he turned him into UCLA, and I think it was a guy named uh, Ruben at UCLA classified him. So, they're legit. Now, they, they, they ain't much. They're, they're small. The biggest one I've ever found is six grams, and that's not very big, but for this meteorite, it's pretty big. So, I'm going to get back at it, see if we can find some more. And what it's like is, I kind of do it like this. It's kind of like, uh, uh, I was hunting down in uh, Morongo Valley uh, Preserve area, and there's a rare bird down there. A lot of bird watchers go down there, and they're after uh, a vermilion flycatcher. I'll insert a picture of one that I that I took. But you got people coming from like Germany and England that fly over here just to mark that off their checklist as I, I found I saw that bird and I took a picture of that bird that's kind of what the CK4 is for me um, I like to I like to conquer all the dry lake beds in my area here in the Southern California area and in Nevada and Arizona you know just Lordsburg just all over I like to go to that dry lake bed and try to find a meteorite even if it's that small boom it's off the checklist so let's get back at it all right I may have another one this little guy right there. Per, well, 50 50. It's hard to tell. It's kind of dusty. But I wanted to leave it in the ground so you can see. But let's see if it is one. I don't want a shadow. Which it looks like we're going to shadow. All right. It is not one. So there you go, not one. Okay, just found another one, a nice one too, pretty good size. I wish I would have taped it coming out of the ground, but I was just walking around touching stuff like I normally do, And but here it is, right there. There's the hole that it was in, there's the piece right there. So yeah, it was just sitting Put it back in the hole. Just sitting like that. It's hard for me to see. Yeah, right there. I was just going to walk by and doop, picked it up. So anyways, there we go. That's a nice one. Let me clean it up a little bit. can see that or not yeah look at that 
That's a nice one. <laughs> That's a nice size right there, guys. I'm really happy with that. Look at that. Is it not focusing? It's not focusing. Nope, come on. Why does it not want to focus? Hmm. Maybe if I put it on my pants. That's a nice one. Boy, that's a nice one. Can I say that some more? Look at that. Here's both of them side by side. See what I mean by crumb? <laughs> that first one's a crumb, but the other one's a nice one. Let's get back at it. Found another little teeny teeny one right there. Boy, that's a small one, but we'll take it. Little baby one. Okay, just found that little baby one, and not even a step away, got that one right there. Decent size one. Let's see. Yep. Let's clean it up. All right, there we go. Another nice one. so hard to focus though but sweet I'll take it all right well I hunted it pretty good I found a few um, looks like there's a beat-up car over here or some kind of garbage I'm gonna go check that out get back to the truck and then hit another spot where I found my biggest one so all right well, found a few in the in the boneyard. It's always fun to come and find a couple. That one was a decent little size. I'm gonna start hiking back to the truck. Over this way, it looks like a old abandoned car or something. So I'm gonna walk that way first and check it out. And then uh, get to the truck, drive down a half a mile or so and go to the spot where I found my biggest CK4 and just give it the once over. Um, this, this dry lake bed, it moves so much. I mean, the, the erosion, it's its not really super hard. It's kind of soft, like walking in snow almost. So sometimes it just covers them up. Sometimes it pops them out. So it's always changing with every rain and wind we get out here. We get a lot of he heavy winds. So let's go check this out. Okay, well, it wasn't a car, a boat. Wonder if you could find out who that was registered to with that number there. Here. Yeah, it's fiberglass. Hot water heater. And a couch. I tell you. It seems like no matter where you go in the middle of the desert, somebody th thrown trash out here. Just take it to the dump, man. You know? That way, 
can get recycled or at least squished and buried and start rotting away in one place instead of just out all over. Anyways, what do you do? It's always some bad apples, right? Okay, moving on. Well, more garbage. Find these out there all the time too. Pick them up and take them with you so the critters don't eat them and get sick. Only takes a second, you know. Some more treasures. Fork. And another fork. Hmm. One of my old piles. All those stuck. <laughs> but they weren't meteorites. But I, I always, uh, you know, just threw them in my back pocket and then we get back to the truck, throw them in one spot so I wouldn't have to pick them up again out there, but that's where we're heading out that way. Well, I'm in the middle of a dry lake bed. It ain't so dry. <laughs> Water sure is clean though. Whoa. And very slimy. Yep. Oh well, it's getting too windy. I think I'm gonna call it. We found a couple. See you back at the truck. Well, here's the finds for the day. The wind's getting so bad that I found this piece of aluminum taking it home too, but there they are, four of them. Not bad, especially for a rare meteorite. But there we go. Anyways, got four. Hey, we got four CK4s. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, Till next time. Later. <laughs>